I had to learn how to do things differently than everyone else, and I was at a slower pace than uh, most people. I had a stroke in, uh, while my mom was pregnant with me. I remember God telling me that I don't have to, I'm not dealing with this alone, and I never was alone. Um, I'm Morgan Booker, I'm 19 years old, and um, I would say my life growing up, I definitely had a good childhood, but, and lots of fun, fun memories, but I definitely say it wasn't the easiest childhood. I'm already gonna start crying. <laughs> Um, the main reason for that, the not having the easy childhood, was because I had a stroke in, uh, while my mom was pregnant with me. And uh, that really sp spoke for a lot of just how my life was going to be like, it felt like. Um, because I had to learn how to do things differently than everyone else, and I was at a slower pace than uh, most people. And that really took a toll on my mental state because I, you know, I always knew growing up that you know, God liked to bless people and do good things for people, but I could never quite understand why he let the stroke happen. And it was really hard because I never liked to... For years, I remember believing this lie that, you know, God didn't love me as much or as much as other people. And that made me question my self-worth and you know, even into my growing up, into my older years, I, I knew I was always different because I always wanted to belong, but I remember, you know, going places and being around my friends and family and thinking that, you know, they're normal and wanting to so badly to feel accepted by people and by God, and I didn't feel like that. And it felt like no matter where I went, I just didn't belong anywhere. I knew pretty much qu quickly that, you know, people were recognizing, you know, that there was something different about me. And, you know, I think that going to school and being around people that didn't have the same disability as me and noticing that there was something different um, and, you know, getting made fun of because of it. And I just always thought that there was something wrong with me because of that. And... I don't, I don't know, it was, you know, I think that because of, you know, my teachers and, you know, everyone tried to act as, n like my family tried to act as normal as possible and treat me like everyone else. But at school, it was a lot different because everyone saw me well, what it felt like was everyone saw me as um, something that needed to be fixed. And um, that really took a toll on me and how I saw myself growing up. 
when I would wake up and just automatically see the differences and knowing that I couldn't, I only had full mobility in one side of my body. It was really hard because I couldn't do things like everyone else and I was constantly questioning why God? Am I not good enough? And I think it was definitely the reason why I became, one of, the main reason why I became so depressed. Um, I remember looking in a mirror once and I had spent so much time focusing on um, looking to others for acceptance and that I, because I didn't focus on what um, God saw that I remember looking in the mirror feeling like I was broken and mentally I was emotionally just beaten down and I felt really lost because I was seeing myself through everyone else's eyes and not who God saw me as. So I would definitely say that struggling, when I was struggling with depression, it um, definitely took a toll on me, physic both physically and uh, mentally. I wouldn't really want to get out of bed in the morning because I didn't have the energy to or um, I didn't see any hope for the day and it was really hard because I was in this constant like very um, sad and angry state of mind, I would say. And it definitely, like, I felt my body was just heavy a lot of days. And, um, I just remember going th through the day and just feeling so worthless and like my life had no meaning to it. I would say probably about five, no, six years ago. It was like, I, I remember walking into church that day and thinking like, I don't really wanna do this anymore. And it was like, God sp said like, you know, spoke through Pastor Mike and it was like all the right things that I needed to hear. And I remember going home that day and I just like, just talked with God for like the f first time in what felt like forever. And I just had this renewed sense of like peace and 
hope again that things would be okay or start to, you know, get better. And I remember God telling me that I don't have to, I'm not dealing with this alone and I never was alone. And, you know, I have a purpose on this earth um, and that he was going to fight my battles for me instead of me trying to control the situations and do it on my own. That's good. Um, oh man, I can't. <laughs> um, a lot of my time is uh, that I, you know, kind of just exclude the world and just have it be me and God is when I'm on this, I, you know, go outside and we have a swing set and I just turn on my headphones and uh, turn on my worship music and uh, just swing. <laughs> um, and that's where I hear God talking to me most and um, that's where God renewed my sense of hope and peace and um, strength. There was a period back in October when my counselor had told me that she saw um, that I was struggling with depression and um, I, again I didn't really see where God was I knew in my I knew in my head that he wouldn't leave but I wasn't feeling it and it was a constant battle between my head and my heart when I was told that I would be put in the brace because when I thought I was healed and then or when I was healed and then it came back the the pain in my foot I had the opportunity to get surgery but my doctor said that this, he wanted the surgery to be a last resort and he wanted to try the brace. And I remember it like throwing me for a loop and I had this anger that I didn't really know, realize I had until I went to my Uncle Bob's house and we did the um, Emmanuel, Emmanuel journaling process out loud. When I was there, we were discussing where um, to go to go back to where I knew God, where I knew He was, and that's when my mom brought up the fact that I needed to um, go back to swinging um, on the swings. I remember the first time that I went back to it. I was just swinging and then I kind of just stopped and sat and on the swing and prayed. He brought me out of the depression and if there's anything that I've learned, it's that no matter what I'm feeling or, you know, I'm, 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 I'm his, I'm his child, and he's gonna take care of me. My disability um, doesn't define me, and it doesn't mean that I don't belong. You know, I think that we're all created f for a set purpose. It's interesting because I was, God shows me stuff through visuals and recently um, I remember watching a movie and the woman in it said, he made the galaxies and the stars, but he knows my name.
I think it's a really beautiful thing to remember because no matter where we are, you know, life, life is a journey. And it's not about the destination, but it's about the process and what God is trying to teach you through that process. And it's really cool to think about the fact that, you know, when I was little and thinking, you know, I don't belong anywhere and I don't have worth to now to where I can say that I am, I am his daughter and you know, he takes care of me no matter where I am. He's always gonna take care of me and the situation. And he has our best interest at heart. <laughs> um, my name is Morgan Booker and I belong in Christ. Got it. Oh man, that was so hard.